Hey guys, Spencer Kaufman here. Today I'm going to show you how to navigate through your Brave browser settings to make sure your browser is even more private and that no one is tracking or getting your personal information. So number one is going to the settings. How do you get there? You can click on these three little dots and go down to settings or if you're on a Mac, command comma will get you there. All right, what do you got? Well, we've got importing bookmarks and settings. You can do that, import them from Firefox or Chrome. You can also grab your profile name and icon if you want. I don't do that, because why would I want them to have my name? Uh, the next thing, make sure Brave is your default browser. That's on. Startup, continue where you left off, open a new tab page, whatever you want to do. I like to open a new tab page because I don't want it remembering where I left off. All right, down appearance this is all very simple stuff you can do what you like I pretty much have everything disabled I don't want all of my bookmarks popping up on the screen you can see what I mean this is the new screen here we go so this it shows my history I've shown people how to do some stuff opt out of things uh, this is just in your session when you quit it you can set it to automatically clear your history this ad pops up you get paid for viewing this image and then it shows you some different uh, earnings and then you can also check out other crypto places you can edit these you can scroll down you can get a news feed that's just for you i don't have anything i don't want anything on here just this image and that's it how do you do that well you can customize your brave settings look at i got everything turned off except for the search button why well because i like to use brave search so that no one tracks my search activity all right continuing on we've got the only other thing on that i have is press a tab on a web page this really i don't even know what it is so you can have that on or off new tab page show the dashboard what is the dashboard the dashboard is this right here so that's on you can customize this any way you like with stats top sites what you show their Brave News, Clock, you can do any of this, all these cards, whether you want to hide them, turn them off, turn them on, etc. So let's get to the main thing in Brave settings. That is shields. You want shields on, show the number of blocked, uh, upgrade connections to HTTPS. If you want to block scripts, you can do that. However, a lot of sites might appear broken if you do. Uh, if they do appear broken, you can click on the little lion up here and it'll you can turn the shields off. Cookie blocking, I, I got that on only cross-site. You could put it on all or you could disable it. Uh, cross-site meaning it doesn't share from site to site. All would be, uh, it allows everything everywhere disabled. It's not blocked at all. All would be it's blocked everywhere. Disabled is it allows it everywhere. So continuing. Social media blocking, I don't want any social media tracking me, following me, or anything like that, so I click on all them. Privacy and security. So autocomplete searches and URLs, do you want to type in FA and then have it fill out Facebook, or do you want to type it all in? Personal convenience, I don't really like it remembering all of that anyway, so I keep it off. Uh, allow privacy preserving and send data to Brave. I like it, ping, letting it ping Brave because then it helps them update everything. They're not uh, keeping track of all my stuff anyway, so they can follow the metrics. I leave that, that on. Uh, you can always clear this. You can go through these security settings, shield settings if you want. They're pretty much, you just open it up and hit clear. Sync devices, if you wanna have it on your phone as well, you can sync another device or another computer. Here's my search engine, it's Brave. You can change this if you want it to be anything else extensions whether or not you want extensions on automatically redirect web torrents things like that uh, your wallet if you want to load up any crypto wallets you can have your crypto wallets automatically put in through this tab here so that's a cool feature and then i have the rest of this ipfs all this is just off i don't even mess with it now the settings that are pretty important you want to click on additional settings this part here auto fill now anytime you go to a website there's a uh, and there's a bar there for you to log in or type your name something like that it'll auto fill your information so 
If you don't want that happening, you need to turn this off. Passwords and login information, this is like if you log in, it'll say, do you want such and such to remember your login information for a certain site? You can hit never or allow, or you can just turn that off so it's never gonna ask you. Uh, that's up to you. If you want it convenient and have it remember, you can have it on. I've got it on for some, off for others. Payment methods. I don't want it remembering my credit card ever. I'm turning that off because you never know if you accidentally navigate to some site that has malware, there might be a hidden box on the screen and it has a credit card number field and your credit card could automatically be autofilled into that hidden box on the screen. Bam, that that malware now, that's that terrible person, the hacker, has now just charged your credit card or stolen your credit card information. That is a bad deal. So why would you want that saved? Turn that off. Addresses. Turn that off too. Why would I want to go to a website and automatically have my address populate on that website? Now, I might not be submitting it, but it's still there. In addition, if it's a malware site accidentally and I go there and it fills it in, it probably automatically submitted it. So I don't even want that to happen. So those two settings are very, very important. Downloads, where are you gonna save that? That's good. And then Wayback Machine prompts, if you get a 404 error, I like having that on because sometimes if you navigate to a site that's a 404 page, it could be a redirect to a malware. So if you have that on, you can click on show the Wayback to see if it really was a legitimate site or you can turn it off, doesn't matter. A hardware acceleration, I just have that on because it's default. You can also restore everything to the original defaults if you like, but the main settings for your safety are getting rid of this autofill and then making sure that everything else, you know, pretty much I have everything else off. You know, I don't need all this. I want it as minimal as possible so that I am as protected as possible and browsing as privately as possible. The other thing that I like to do is just make sure that my history is cleared each and every time I go through. So right here, I've got all the history. You can clear the browsing data at any time and hit clear data. The other thing I like to have is right here where you have it automatically clear your browsing data on exit. I have it clear at all. Anytime I log out, clear all the autofill, clear all the browsing data. That way, if I quit this or close it, it clears all of my history so that if someone ever got my computer or my phone and, and went on there, they couldn't see where I went, what I entered in, etc. So hopefully this video has helped you out. If you have any questions about the Brave uh, browser or the rewards, etc., cetera, uh, feel free to let me know. You always, uh, another thing that I wanna make sure before I wrap up this video is uh, Brave Rewards. Hopefully you've connected all of that. Click on this ads, you want to see ads because then you're gonna earn more money. What do you do with that money? You can contribute it to creators like myself by clicking on the little triangle in the upper corner and then seeing a brave verified creator. So you can either go to my website, spencerkaufman.com and contribute there or you can do it on this YouTube channel directly because I have connected this YouTube channel with Brave Rewards where you can send a monthly contribution to me of whatever you want. It can be of one, because you can see here I've earned about 95 cents USD through viewing ads and you can cho choose your ad settings. I say view 10 ads per hour because it's the maximum and it can detect wherever. Now the ads you view, they don't pop up, they're not in the way. It's basically anytime you open a new tab, boom, here's an ad right here. This image, I get paid for seeing this. You wanna uh, use your money that you receive and help support creators, you can just hit this monthly contribution set or you can send a tip, a one-time tip of a one basic attention token, which is about 81 cents. Uh, so it really, if you're earning that in regular internet browsing anyway, sending that to a creator whose content you like really is just supporting that creator and showing them that you like what they're doing and it doesn't cost you anything. So again, if you have any questions about Brave, Brave uh, the browser, any of the settings, history, any of that kind of stuff, feel free to put a comment below. Uh, I will get on there and hopefully help you out as best as I can. Also, be sure to click on the subscribe button and the like button 
and hit the bell icon to be notified for future videos. Until next time.